What's up guys, Cetuan13 here, and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing two mystery Zippo lighters from Zippo.com. All right guys, so what we got here are two mystery Zippos. Now, for this video, I'm coming at you from behind the camera. I figured it's a little bit better to get a little bit closer to just get a good look at these different Zippos. Now, if you're wondering how do you know the that they're mystery and how have you not had the mystery ruined for you, I actually had two separate orders from Zippo.com when they were running the free mystery Zippo for every order over, I forgot what the amount was, I think it's 40 bucks. That promotion's over now, but I managed to get in two different orders. I actually had a family member open the package for me sort through the various ones that we ordered from customs to other designs, and then just pick out the, the ones that clearly weren't anything that I'd ordered. And without telling me, they then put the boxes, you know, label side down. So I have no idea what these are. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm really excited to see what we got. So I guess we'll start with the one on the right first. Whoa, look at that. Oh man, that's... uh. Some sort of black ice. It's got an anchor design. Let's see what the, well, yeah. Oh, there, there you go. It's an anchor design. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna scan this on my phone so I can search up the uh, SKU online. See if I can find any info on it. So, oh, okay. So from what I can see, this is actually a dis, this is actually a discontinued design from Zippo. And I don't know if it's like a year or two old at this point, but I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody selling it. I couldn't find it on their website. Let's take a look. So what I really like about this, when I compare this to the anchor designs that I can see now on Zippo's website is it's actually laser etched into the surface. So the new ones that I've seen, the new anchor designs that I've seen, and I think there's only one on Zippo's site right now, it's just their color layer implementation. And while those are certainly cool, nothing can match the durability of something actually etched into the surface. So that is pretty cool. We'll check the date on this. We have a J of 20. So if this was discontinued, it's gotta be pretty recent because I, I don't see this, because, because obviously this is from last year. And so J would be October. So let's go ahead and see what the insert date code is and see if they match. Okay. And uh, something I noticed by the way, on this one anyway, you got a little bit of an overbite, but overall, the alignment's not bad. Let's pull out that, wow, it's a stiff insert. That's stuck in there pretty good. Hopefully that means it won't ride up too much, but I don't really plan on using this one that much, but if I did, it'd be nice to have a good. Okay, so this is a K of 20. So that means it is a November. So just one month off from the case itself. So that is pretty cool. That's pretty solid, it's not really riding up. So, hey, considering this was free with the order, I am pleasantly surprised. All right, so let's move on to the next one. I'll sort of leave this one over here. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's the Lotus with Ohm design. That's pretty cool. So it looks like it starts with a blue matte finish and then it's laser etched with the design. So the thing I always wonder about these is how durable is that etching when it's through the color layer? Because does it actually etch the brass underneath or is it only just cutting through the color layer and not actually affecting the brass in a way that would make the design still visible even if the color layer wore off. Now let's check our date code, G of 20. 
So that's July of 2020. Now, if you can see in the bottom, do you see how it's kind of a lighter color? And it's kind of similar to the color here. That's actually because the laser process they use to remove the color layer on the bottom doesn't completely remove it. And so a slight, ever so slight film of it is left behind. And so my concern is just that what we're seeing here could be potentially lost in terms of the details of the design if you were to experience wear on the face of the Zippo from you know carrying it and using it and all that. Um, so, so let's go ahead and check that insert and see what kind of date we have on there. Okay, so we're seeing a date code of H of 20. So, so that's an August of 2020. So just again, one month off. Pretty good. Let's check lid alignment here. Not perfect. You can see it's a little cockeyed and it is rubbing on, in fact, it might just be a matter of this chimney being a little, like one side being a little, eh. No, I think the hinge needs a little bit of adjustment. Yeah, if we check without the insert in there, you can see it's sort of biased to the left. So if I just straighten this out a little bit, so the alignment there is a little better. Maybe I even went a little too far in the other direction. Let's see. Let's put our insert back in. Much better, you see that? So, let me just go ahead and look up the UPC on this one real quick. So this one I actually couldn't find on, just by looking up the UPC, but going on Zippo site, you can see that we have the Ohm Royal Blue matte design. That's exactly what we've got here. And it is a $27 Zippo. So, honestly, between the two, I know this is discontinued, but from what I could see on eBay and stuff, some people are even selling this for 50. My guess is the, the, the listings that are selling it for around 40 are probably more realistic. But either way, for I mean, this isn't bad. For two two free mystery lighters, I, I honestly wish they did promotions like that more often, and I definitely look forward to some of those in the future. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll leave some links for various Zippos if I can find them below. Obviously the anchor design is no longer available, but this one is, so I'll leave links for Zippo site. If I can find this on Amazon, I'll leave it on Amazon as well. And of course I'll leave some basic Zippos as well, just in case you guys are interested in basics. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, your own experiences with the mystery lighters, with ordering mystery Zippos from Zippo.com. Definitely leave that in the comments below. And as always, if you wanna see more, don't forget to get subscribed.